Gamers, what's good? This is C. Hendo back once again. Be sure to hit that like, subscribe button. Now, today, well, let's just go off of last night. So basically last night, I got a notification from Best Buy. And I remember making this pre-order purchase for this. Now, I didn't think I was going to get anything for this console until November 12th, the launch date. But I was able to pick up an accessory for the PlayStation 5. And guess what I got? The PS5 DualSense controller. So I am excited. Now, unfortunately, I won't be able to play any games with it because I don't have a PS5 yet. And rumor has it, you can play with your PS3 with this controller and it actually works. I don't know how true that is. Maybe someone in the comments can confirm that. But yeah, definitely leave comments on this. But what I will do is unbox this controller and I also will do a comparison in size with that and a PS4 controller. So let's get to it. All right, everyone. So the box is sort of weird to get out so or take apart. So unfortunately, I destroyed my box. <laughs> Who cares? But inside, it really wasn't too much. Just an instruction booklet for all you readers out there. And here it is. The PS5 DualSense controller. Because it's plastic here. Okay, let's see. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here it is, everybody. The PS5 DualSense controller. This thing looks amazing. Looks amazing. It feels good too, man. Okay, it looks like it has a USB-C charger up top. I could be wrong about that. Sorry if I'm not good with these things. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can power this up. Oh, it powered up. So I powered it up. You guys can see that blue there. It does power up. Need to charge it. It looks like it may have went dead already. Um, right there in that little spot right there, if you can see it. I'm sorry if it's not showing it, but that is the PlayStation button in black. That's your power button to power on the controller. Um, the triggers are relatively still the same on top. Maybe a little sleeker. The R2, you know, the R2, L2, right bumper, left bumper, or L1, you know, R1, whatever you want to call it. Um, your standard square triangle box circle right there. Um, analog sticks feel real good, real good on this. So, man, from first impressions, putting in my hands, I see the Miles Morales behind me, man. I wish I could play it right now with this, but once again, I don't have a PS5 yet, but feels good. Man, it, it, you know what? Let's do this. Let's compare this to a PS4 controller in size. So I got my PS4 controller here. I'm like that little smudge off. Here it is. Comparison size. So I hope you guys can see this real well. This is comparison size for both of these controllers. Uh, I would say the PS5 controller is a, a little bit bigger. I may need to look at this again, but yeah, it's definitely a little bit bigger. Definitely a little bit bigger. Um, let's compare this to an Xbox Elite 2 controller because the Xbox Elite um, 2 controller will work on the, you know, Xbox Series X, but look at this. They feel damn near the same. Well, I won't say because the back is rubber and all that stuff. The Elite 2 has a special stuff to it, but man, this feels like holding the Xbox controller now. A lot bigger. It has some weird, like, smooth materials. It's a little slippery in my hand, but other than that, man, this thing looks amazing. I do see the microphone right there. Man, that is cool. I don't know what that button is right there on the mic. Oh, you can mute the mic. So right here, this button right here, this little gray button there, it probably lights up when the controller's charged up, but you can mute your mic right there. Wow, okay. Mm. 3.5 on the bottom, it looks like, for you headphone jack people still. I'm trying to get a wireless headset. I will say this, the start and select button or share button is a lot easier to get to compared to the PS4 controller. It is a lot easier to get to, so that is a big key for me. So, yeah, man, this is, this control looks good. I'll give you a full 360 real quick of it. This thing looks good, man. I'm excited, y'all. I don't even have a console yet. I'm up here just geeked out about this controller. So, there you have it. That is the PS5 Dual Sys controller. Um, you know, if we want to look at the box once again, it just tells you little things on there like um, heptic feedback. It tells you about the triggers and all that stuff. The back of the box. Here's the side of the box. I destroyed the top of this box. Man, the disaster of me trying to open this thing was just crazy. I even have a trusty box cutter. But yeah, man, I'm excited about this, man. This controller feels good. But what I need you to do is this. So that rumor 
about the PS5 controller working on the PS3. I don't have a PS3, unfortunately, but I don't know if that's true or not. So I need you to leave some comments. Let me know what you think. Please hit that like and share this video, man. Subscribe to my channel. Um, I do interview athletes, but I also talk gaming on my channel. I'm a huge gamer, as you see. I got the Madden in the background. My PlayStation 5 and Xbox One X is over there, and I can't wait to both of these consoles launch, but I am excited. This is the first next-gen accessory that I've gotten in my hand, so I am excited. So I appreciate you guys, and once again, this is C. Hendo. We always work in the course, and be sure to hit that like, subscribe button, and we're out. What's good, everyone? I appreciate you for tuning into this video. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and also turn on those notifications because we got more to come.